votes in this country in polling, and we have votes in the Congress, and 60-some percent of the people support this president on this war. Yes. I don't. I think this is a bad idea. But yeah. I recognize that people support the war. And you can't think of a Democrat to put on national television to oppose the president. We agree on this. Well, he's dead. You can dead. name one. He's well, dead. maybe. But he wasn't winning the argument. The president was no, winning the true. argument. I'm, I'm and the consent. president's I, winning the argument. I agree with you. And I don't make fun of the people who support the president. I disagree with them. Right. What is making fun? This, 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 this ape thing you do. What is this about? I don't get it. In other words, this offends you, Doug? No, it just strikes me as making fun of a, a, a sort of a patriotic instinct, which I think is fine. It's a question we need smart leaders to recognize that the best way to defend the interests of this country is not to fight this war with Iraq. I've heard you call people in the Senate wacko. Who? I've heard you use the word. Talking about craziness. Uh -huh. I've heard you... In the tradition of robust San right. Francisco politics. Right. Well, in the tradition of the press bar. You've done it on the air. Right. And now I go like this and, oh, man, I've offended your book. I've offended the United States of America. Yeah. Where did you get so sensitive? I'm not sensitive at all. I'm observant. You don't think you don't think it's sensitive to be upset? You know, I really do think we have a different attitude about the world in this country. I think you are a very good critic of this country. You are an excellent critic. You f you're like Michael Moore. You find all the things that's wrong with this. You're excellent about the corporate deal making and the failure to protect blue collar jobs and all that. You're very good at that. But I think it's always the glass is always half empty to you. It's always half empty. You're always negative, and I think that's a problem. I disagree with that point of view. I think this is the greatest country in the world that's with some very flaws. very close to saying, don't criticize No, I think, I think it's a point of view that starts with... I think with that some, I am blessed Because to be I think American you use all the... You're birth. always looking, <clears throat> finding evidence to argue there's something wrong with this country. And I think this country is a good country with flaws. And you think this country is essentially wrong mm -hmm. on so many issues. Right. Is this country a good country when its Congress is going to send a half a million young men and women to war to put a shiv in the belly of some guy we don't like? This is a good creating country. Creating havoc as you yourself no, This has, is a good country have, have, susceptible to mistakes and weak right. and bad leadership. But why can't I it's say... It's essentially a good country. Do you think it's essentially a good country? Essentially. I, and by well, all means. Do you means, believe that? Yes, I do. And I think if it adhered as a... I think I'm the conservative. Really? I'd make a very good Republican. Right. I believe in the Bill of Rights. Incidentally, I don't think, I think you can't take all the guns out of all the basements right. and attics in the country. Yeah. I, I think this is a great nation that refuses to say all women who are pregnant shall remain pregnant by order of the state. Right. I'm proud that I ha live in a country that protects a woman from that kind of state invasion. Right. Why am I not considered a, a proud and yet criticize? Or maybe do a little dramatic flare and, oh, people start yeah. to crumble right before your eyes. Get up and engage like the I'm argument. Crumbling? <laughs> engage the argument. I'm half of what you just said is in this book, by the way. And I don't know what you're arguing with it don't for. Don't worry about it. The book will sell. Yeah, I, you know, I think you ought to read it. Fine. I have read it. Have you read it? Okay, yes. good. Because I don't recognize too many words from it when you're arguing this point. Well, is, then your point is I haven't sold your book enough. No, you haven't read it. What? You say that without <laughs> proof at all. No, I have no evidence you have. <laughs> I, I just I just went through okay. some of the well, things that you've written right. here. Because I think you missed the Among, point of it. This country is right. essence. Make your point again on this point. Uh, you give Maybe me three we'll seconds and you give a four-hour speech. L let me make the point. Look who's talking about four-hour speeches. I'm Go ahead. I'm Go ahead. I am trying to make a couple points here. Oh, and so are many people on your show. Okay, got All right, fine. I give up. Go ahead. How much time I got? Now, don't pout. I'm make asking your point. How much time do I have right now, Phil? Well, most guests don't get that information, do they? Go okay, ahead. well, give me a little thought here. Uh, we'll give you a minute. Go. You're on the air. A minute. I think what's made this country uniquely successful, and the reason why everybody in the world, whatever ethnic group they are, wants to come here, whether it's the poor Haitians or it's the wealthy South Asians or whatever, the best educated people, the least educated, they all do. want to come here they do because come this here. society offers the greatest social mobility for people who just got here to move to the top. Change your name, ad adopt a new identity, become a success, whether you're Ralph Lauren or you're Cary Grant or anybody, come to this mm -hmm. country and it works for so many people. Right. And I think that immense freedom. It's not just in the Constitution, it's in our society. And the best part of our society, as you point out accurately, is the making sure the government respects personal freedom absolutely, as right. much as possible. Yes. And we are a great country because of those things. We're also a pioneering country. We're a country that's willing to go it alone. We're willing to be unpopular. We're yes. willing to do the right thing. And most of the time the world says, the Yanks are crude, savage cowboys. But when World War I came along, World War II, Bosnia right. came along, they said, come on in, you Boy Scouts, and save us again. And we're called in to save the day so many times because yeah. we are essentially a good country. Yeah. And I think you don't think that. And if you say that, if you say that Cheney 
and Halliburton did business, did business with Iraq, you don't, you're not a proud American. You're not a proud American. Well, that's a ludicrous straw man. I have criticized Cheney more times than you have. I believe this is a good country, and I will continue to speak out. When Enron <laughs> gouges people in California, we'll be back in just you a moment. You love it when they do it. You this is uh, Ray Romano. We'll be seen on Donahue next week. This is too much fun. Um, uh, well, I'm glad you. Fight card, isn't it? I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I am. I'm enjoying uh -huh. it's this tussle. It's better than my show some yeah. nights. Uh, I do think that uh, the the Beltway boys, you included. Oh, geez. I actually I do live out inside the Beltway. You got right. right now. But I mean, I think you you dine with the people in power. What? You have beers with the people in power, and pretty soon it's it, it, there, you not know, for the last eight, last eight years at least. You're not. I don't <laughs> think. I don't think. I you're, quit the beer. I don't think you're tough enough. I think it's like fraternization in the army. You know. You can't shoot a guy after he's they shown you a picture. Me those guys I'm almost finished. I'm sorry. You can't shoot a guy after he's shown you a picture of his kids. That's why you go to the brig for fraternization. If you start sharing cigarettes with the enemy. I think you guys are all of a bunch. Me guys. All these. What am I, I, I don't group? think. I don't <laughs> think that. I don't think the press corps barks loud enough. I don't think it's tough enough. We certainly have occasions on the op-ed pages where people throw people up against the wall, and it's a wonderful thing when it happens. But essentially, I think we've got uh, go along, get along. You think people in, the, in, the, in the four years, or eight years of the Clinton administration, I wasn't tough on the president. Under this oh, president, well. I've been tough on him. I think I'm tough on all these guys. Tom DeLay won't even do this show. I can't. These guys are so mad at me. Dashiell's mad at me. Uh, what's it? Lieberman's mad at me. I got guys mad at me I'll, all the time. What I'll could call, that do? I'll call. Call him up. I'll call Tom. I don't DeLay. think I'll, I've been fraternizing I'll get with these him characters. On your show. I can help you. Um, <laughs> it is true, though, that there's a kind of um, Hillary Clinton I've been getting along with. That's right. a surprise, but uh, I do have certainly cottoned up to her lately. But I've generally been pretty tough on these guys. I don't think it's fair to call me part of the uh, collaborating with the enemy. Mm. You know, that's not my reputation. I got a reputation for being a loner. I think, right. not kissing up to the right people. Right. So um, you're going to take that back, aren't you? That I'm part of the problem. Uh, well, I made it a general. Uh, did you, I, I mean, say you, you were the, part of the problem? You beltway boys. This sort of thing you do with your arms, and you say you, you. I mean, uh, yeah. this sort of it's sort of an indication. I'm like ch chickens in the yeah. barn, you know. Get into the barn, you chickens. I don't yeah. think I'm one of you guys or one of you beltway guys. I mean, I think that's ludicrous. Really? That's look. I go to Washington as a cop. I work my way up. I get jobs. I'm a writer. I'm a critic. I've generally written stuff anti-government in a lot of cases. I've been, I basically could have been accused of too conservative by a lot of my liberal friends because I'm tough on government. Mm -hmm. I'm suspicious of government and mm -hmm. power. I, you know, I think Lord Acton was right. Mm -hmm. Power tends to corrupt. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. I'm damn tough about the rot at the top. The idea that I'm one of you Beltway boys as you chicken to the area. What kind of a gesture is that? Where'd you learn that one? This one, you, you guys. That's absurd. That's you're not talking to me. You don't know yeah. me to say that. Well, nobody says that about me. Uh, nobody. Nobody says I'm one of the boys in Washington. That's one thing you can argue with me because I, I may like a few of these guys I come across, but yes. America's uh, Daniel Boone to Charles Lindbergh. We are always pushing the envelope. Right. If we ever gave up being pioneers, we're, we're obsessed with being an American. We're obsessed with it. We wanted to be the first to moon. If you if you get a medical problem, I don't care if you're the the, the Shah of Iran or you're the worst kind of committee. If you got a medical problem in the world, you're here tomorrow because we got the best doctors. That they work their butts off to be the best. It's it's a, t it's, it's a very competitive society. The number of, of Nobel Prizes we win in this country is extraordinary because we want to be number one, and that's a good thing. And, you don't agree with that, though, do you? And in, you don't agree it's, number, it's good to want to be number one in science and medicine oh, and yeah. physics. Yeah, and we are. And we've got a public school system that's been declared a security it's, risk oh. by our own government commission. Right. Number one. Some number one. It. We have kids graduating from high school, can't find Vietnam, and no Judge Wapner, yeah, we got a couple but can't senators. identify Judge Rehnquist. I know Judge one Rehnquist. senator couldn't find Bosnia. <laughs> yes. Well, it's true. How many of us could, well, how many of us could, could pass these pop quizzes? But interesting, you know, uh, if people are critics, they're always critics. They're kind of complaining. They're always... Well, that's you. Yeah. Isn't that you? Oh, no. I, I think, uh, certainly I blow, I pop off when I see, for example... Mm -hmm. Uh, people getting bigger tax breaks than they ought to right. get if they're wealthy. Mm -hmm. I pop off when I see grand theft on the part. Mm -hmm. uh, I pop off when I see the drug war knocking down doors in black neighborhoods, shooting people, drive-bys. It's not fair to cops. Mm -hmm. Yes, I complain about that. And when I do, people like you will say, how come you're always complaining? Mm -hmm. the, the hidden message there is, shh, stop complaining. You think so? Shut up, shut up.